think this is probably the fight that could potentially steal the show. Um, this is a fight that kind of was made over social media, if you want to say that. Um, it kind of started out with uh, Nate Daniel Gallimore. He's not a guy who's shy of confidence. Um, a lot of back and forth with uh, Julian Williams. And, you know, I'm from the old school. Talking to win fights, action does. So with, um, without further ado, I'd like to bring up um, Nathaniel Gallimore. He's fighting out of Los Angeles. Uh, he's trained by Buddy McGurk, um, outstanding young fighter. Uh, he talks to talk, and he has a tremendous opportunity this Saturday night to prove that he's one of the top fighters in the division. This is an IBF eliminator for the world title. And again, uh, this should be an outstanding fight. So without further ado, I would like to bring up the Daniel Gallimore. Thank you. Great man. Thank you. 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 Coaching staff, John Poole and Buddy McCurry. Um, uh, my little brother, Joshua Greer, aka Don't Blink. Um, Showtime, and um, you know, the um, poems that I had some more on this fight. You know, um, Saturday night is Judgment Day. You know, um, it's time with Jay Pillars right here. You know, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a night to remember. You know, it's total domination. Focusing, I'm ready. Had the best training camp in all my career. You know, um, we cover all basics. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing undone. You know, and Saturday night, I'm gonna show it to the world. You looking at me? Smile. Nigga, you wanna have to Saturday night, I'm gonna wipe that smile off your face. You think, you think Charlie hit hard? You're gonna see. You know, um, I just, um, this opportunity is mine. His division is mine. You know, um, all that talking don't mean nothing. It's all about action. And I say what I mean. And I mean what I say. Uh, you was talking today for your birthday. You're going to get an early birthday gift. You're going to get an early birthday gift. Stop tripping. I study my opponents. I stalk them. I stalk them. That's what I'm going to do in the ring. Keep on talking. Keep running your mouth. You know, you had a big mouth when you was fighting Charlie. What happened? And you, you said I got knocked down four times. Wow, I think that uh, I think that stuff messed up your head when he uh, when he when he chin checked you. I hope you do your chin push ups. I told you what's gonna happen. How you like it on your face, on your back, doing tap dance with referee stopping the fight. There's nothing more. I'm not playing with you, boy. When I think I'm playing with you. Talking about you a rock. You ain't no rock. You ain't solid. You pebbles. I eat you. That's what I'm gonna do Saturday night. So I'm gonna get you on every night to tune in. That I'm gonna miss this. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. I told you he wasn't shy of confidence. <laughs> This should really be a, a, a exciting matchup. Um, a, a, a great clash of different styles. Um, he's a nice gentleman, outstanding young fighter, um, true professional, um, coming to us from the fighting city of Philadelphia. Um, excellent, excellent fighter, coming off of a, a tremendous, exciting fight um, in defeating Nisha e. Smith. Um, a guy who always comes prepared, he's one of the top fighters in the division, and with a win Saturday night, this moves him a step closer to what their, their, their goal is, and that's to become world champion. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to bring up Julian J. Rock Williams. How's everybody doing today? Um, First of all, I want to thank uh, Showtime, Al uh, Hammond, uh, my coaches for going through camp with me, uh, Asim Bay and uh, Steven Edwards. I want to thank Snack. You know, we had a 
we had a really good camp, you know. Uh, I decided not to get into the, to so much of the tongue wrestling in this camp. You know, uh, I, I really couldn't prepare, you know. Uh, he's a solid fighter, you know. I, I don't want to ask him to beat um, any fighter, you know. Uh, he seems like he's a pretty good a pretty good fighter. But to me, he seems like a, like a bully, you know. And uh, he can't bully me, you know what I mean? He's very obsessed with me. He's always on my page. You know, I decided not to block him because I wanted, to, I wanted him to see everything. He can stay up at night watching me, you know. So, uh, nevertheless, he's a solid fighter. But it's funny because I got a quick story. He was, uh, I was in camp for my last fight, for the fight with Isha. And his coach, John Coleman, was, uh, was in the gym with us. And we were supposed to fight him before we fought Isha, but we decided to take the Isha fight because it was a little bit more money. So his coach said, when he's supposed to fight me, yelling like, like, yeah, you're like, man, that guy's nothing but a, he's nothing but a brawl. He's trying no problem with him. Your own coach said that. Name some killer because he training you. Your own coach said that, bro. I don't give a shit if he's with Buddy McGirt. Buddy McGirt left him. They didn't even train you. He didn't even train you for this fight. He wants to have the circuit. For me. The circuit I'm fighting for myself. Remember that. Cool. But his coaches don't believe in him, you know? So. I'm going uh, to shut this guy up on Saturday night. I looked at his record, you know, he's got a loss to a journeyman. He got a draw with a journeyman. He was knocked down by a journeyman. Hey, you know? Got you got chin check. I'm going to shut this dude up on Saturday night. I don't got nothing else to say. Thanks everybody for coming out to support the fight. In the call feature, we begin the night with a very important fight because it's a title eliminator. The winner of this fight becomes basically the mandatory for Swift Jared Hurd. So, let's start off and talk to the fighters. Nathaniel Gallimore, out of Chicago. One of the things, uh, Nathaniel, you've talked about in the build-up for this fight, you said Julian J. Rock Williams. Average fighter, hopes he does his chin-ups because he has a weak chin, and I'm going to knock him out. Was that just hype? Did the fight some hype, or do you believe any of those statements? I believe it. That's what's going to happen. J-Rock, he's been very vocal. Has there been anything that he said that has really annoyed you? Well, he only had like 100 followers, so people say this thing. So, uh, to answer your question, no, I didn't really pay no I didn't really see anything, you know, so. He's a nobody, he's wanted some attention, but he gonna get some shit. Nathaniel, you've talked about that this 2018 is going to be, you said, your breakout year. What about this fight? Do you see this as your breakout fight, putting you on the national stage? And what message are you trying to send Saturday night? Um, first of all, this is not a popular contest. Okay, so don't worry about my followers. Okay, just worry about what's going to happen to you Saturday night. I'm going to tear you apart. Bloody, it's gonna be bloody, nasty, and um, and this fight gonna set me above all. This fight, this fight gonna tell who I am in this division. Starting with Jay Pebbles. <laughs> Julian, how anxious are you? Number one, to get another shot at the world title. I think number two to prove that you had that championship pedigree? Um, right now, I'm not so much anxious to get in the ring. I'm, uh, I'm more so calm and just waiting, you know, to uh, show what I got, you know. I know that I'm a, a, a world championship caliber fighter. You know, um, I just, you know, got to get in there and do my thing. You know, so I'm, 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 I'm pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm being patient. I'm not really so much anxious. Nathaniel, what are you hoping 
because you get national exposure with this fight. What are you hoping that people take away from your fighting style once they see you take on J-Rock? Everything. You know, I'm not hoping that's going to happen. You know, um, it's going to be a spectacular fight in a spectacular fashion. You know, I'm going to demolish him. I'm going to break him down limb by limb, piece by piece. I'm going to tear him apart. He never faced no one like me before. He went about Charlo hitting hard. Wait till I touch his chin. I told him, I gave him a blueprint about them chin push-ups. And later on tonight, when you go to your hotel, bring your guys and they're going to help you. And get on the floor and start doing your chin push-ups because you won't need that. When I touch you, it's over. We'll wrap it up with this, J-Rock. We've already heard uh, from Nathaniel how he says the fight's going to go. Give me your prediction. How do you see Saturday night? He's going to lose every single round and probably get stopped late. Every fight, somebody pushing past six rounds, he's got a draw, a loss, or he's getting knocked down. That's not, that's not, that, that's a fact. I want to speak in facts. That's a fact. So uh, just tune in. Deep water drowning. And again, it is the IBF title eliminator.